Was Jesus based on the Greek god Dionysus? Many mysticists think Jesus never existed and was just a copy of the god Dionysus because Dionysus was born of a virgin on December 25th. He was a traveling teacher who performed miracles. He was called Holy Child and placed in a manger. He turned water into wine and was known as God of the Vine. He rode in a triumphant procession on a donkey. He was a king that was ritually killed and eaten in a Eucharistic ritual. He rose from the dead on March 25th. He was depicted as being hung on a tree or crucified. He was called King of Kings, God of Gods, Begotten Son, Savior, Redeemer, Anointed One, and the Alpha and Omega. And he has the same trial as Jesus. So do we have proof Jesus was just a mythic copy of the god Dionysus? Well, for that to be true, some of these claims would have to be correct, but most of them are simply wrong. First, Dionysus was not born on December 25th, or even of a virgin. One legend says he was a son of Zeus and Persephone. Another says he was born to Semele after he was impregnated by Zeus, who took the form of a lightning bolt. Hera became jealous and killed her. However, the prenatal form of Dionysus remained. Zeus took him and sewed him into his thigh until he was ready to be born. This is nothing like what happened to Jesus. There is also no reference to him being born on December 25th. This was just made up out of thin air. This next one is true, but it is universal truth for any divine religious teacher. There is no evidence Dionysus was ever called Holy Child or placed in a manger. This is also just made up out of thin air. He did turn water into wine, but this account comes from Achilles Tadius, whose work is much later than the Book of John. And scholars say it is more likely the pagans were parroting the Eucharist of the Christians. As for being called God of the Vine, this was actually never said of Jesus. Jesus called himself a vine to make a point about growing spiritually in him, which had nothing to do with wine or calling himself the God of the Grapevine. Dionysus is depicted riding a mule, while crowds are waving ivy branches, mainly because this is how the ancient Greco-Roman culture treated kingly figures. If a triumphant king was entering your city, this was the customary way to greet him, and it was done for Roman emperors, generals, and religious figures. So this was done quite often in the ancient world, and is way too general to force any type of parallel. The next one is not true and seems to be taken from a misunderstood story of Dionysus. One legend Diodorus reports is that Dionysus was taken by Titans when he was a child, and they boiled and ate him. Zeus found out and killed the Titans and restored him back to life from the heart that was left over. There is no evidence this was ever done ritually by human followers of Dionysus. I can find no evidence Dionysus rose from the dead, let alone on March 25th, and no evidence he was depicted as hung on a tree or crucified. This supposed depiction of him is a late forgery from the early 20th century. There is no evidence he was called King of Kings, God of Gods, Begotten Son, or any of these other titles that are applied to Christ. Finally, anyone can read the trial of Dionysus in the Bacchae and see the trial is nothing like what happened to Jesus, despite what freaking Gandhi say. Dionysus was put on trial for making women go mad. He lets himself be taken so he can publicly humiliate King Pentheus. He then escapes from prison by an earthquake and has the women kill Pentheus. Dionysus is also described in homoerotic terms. This is nothing like the trial of Jesus. The only similarity seems to be that they were both on trial, which is far too general to form any parallel. So as you can see, the only parallels that are remotely true are far too general to form any connection. So that means there is no evidence Jesus was just a myth based on Dionysus.